Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your Karuna. Happy Foundation Friday. So today is a Foundation Friday. I know many of you guys are right now at home quarantined or social isolation. Social distancing is what we're calling it. The positive way of saying it. Let's get rid of the word quarantine because it does sound a little extreme, but that's the reality of our lives right now. We're all stuck at home. Um, so I thought I just wanted to keep things regular. I feel like when there's so much drastic uncertainty and change, it was like a drastic instant change. Like everyone stay home, don't leave, right? Um, I wanted to keep my life still regular, so I still wanted to do my foundation Fridays. I still wanted to film my makeup tutorials, and I still wanted to be here. If for some reason this bothers you, I'm sorry. I just really need to get my mind off of all the stress. And if you are needing a distraction, I hope this is the perfect type of distraction for you guys, and you are here for it. So, like I said, it's Foundation Friday. Today we are going to check out and test out the Makeup Forever Reboost Foundation. I have seen this foundation everywhere. Everyone's been talking about it. A lot of people have been using it, so I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I need to use it too. Um, it was literally sold out, so I had to opt for an other color. So I got 370, but I don't think 370 is my real shade. So guys, yeah, this is my shade. This is in two, this isn't my shade, it's 370. I was supposed to get another shade, but that one kept getting sold out. Like every time I tried to get it, it was like sold out, sold out, sold out. So I was like, all right, I'll just like try to use this one. This one does look a little red to me, but it's okay. I'm going to try it out. So it does come with the pump. This actually retails for $39. It's supposed to be lightweight. It's catered to more normal to dry skin people. It's a liquid formula and it's also meant to be hydrating for 24 hours. That's like a new marketing thing that all foundation people are using. 24 hour foundation. Nobody wears the foundation for 24 hours, but I understand what they're trying to say. It's basically long lasting and you'll be hydrated the whole time. I don't know if you guys experience this, but with some foundations, sometimes you do get a really dry and then it gets cakey. So when you get cakey, it's the dryness of the foundation that's creating you to be cakey. So this is going to give you more of a bright, smooth, firm, and a hydrated look and it evens out your skin tone. That's what it says on the bottle. My only, only concern with this is that it says it's light coverage. Y'all know your girl loves full, full coverage because it says it's light coverage a uh, beauty blender is out the door because i feel like the beauty blender is just gonna suck it up so i'm gonna use only a brush today to create this on my face so i'm gonna go ahead and use my real techniques foundation brush this is the expert face brush but i really like it so i'm gonna go ahead with one pump and it's very liquidy but in a good way like it's not light translucent translucent I would more likely say this is medium coverage versus a light coverage. It's warm medium. And let me tell you guys, this is probably the best skin-like foundation that I've seen. I do have a little bit of dark spots right here, right here, and in my chin area. And it doesn't cover those up completely, but they're also not super visible at the same time. I'm just going to go ahead and take another pump because I don't feel like a little goes a long way. At least not for me, how I like to put on foundation. Wow, the skin does look really nice. It's not a full coverage, but this is a really nice medium coverage type of look. It says it's light, but I feel like this looks really good on my skin. I am pretty shocked at how good it looks. It definitely doesn't cover up my ashiness right here because I do have a darkness right here and darkness right here. And then, like, you know, I just, I've always had that. I've always had an uneven skin tone because, I mean, I'm, I'm brown. I have an uneven skin tone. So I always try to cover up these areas with, like, a skin corrector. But I felt like this was a little too light to use with a skin corrector because I feel like the skin corrector would seep through. So if you're someone that struggles with a lot of hyperpigmentation, I don't think this foundation is for you. It's a little too light. So just to test purposes... This is just one layer and it does feel a tad heavy, even though it's a light foundation. It feels a little oily. So I'm going to take one more pump and I'm going to try to layer and see how it does layered. I feel like when you layer this, it starts to look a little cakey, in my opinion. Yeah, it starts to look kind of cakey. It doesn't, and then it starts to look really oily. So basically, you want to only put one layer. This isn't the best foundation for buildup. I feel like coloring is pretty accurate too. It does have more of a redder, pinker undertone. So then it just comes down to like, what are your preference? Do you like more of a muted yellow undertone? Or do you like more of a red undertone? So it's up to you guys. Guys, I've had on the foundation for about five hours. This is very, very nice. 
it looks pretty good the only thing is a lot of creasing fading and my pores still look nice and enlarged um, and then as you can see there's like a lot of gunkiness happening a little bit of separation right there on the five hour wear and then i like that my forehead it doesn't look that crease it's actually at a pretty good level personally i think the staying power on this is not that great because it's only been like six hours and i already see a lot of like i need to touch it up i gotta get into the touching up mo mode right now um i'm not gonna touch it up i'm gonna wear it for another three four hours and see how it performs after eight hours i know this is a 24 hour wear foundation but yeah i don't see myself wearing this for 24 hours but um so far it seems seems pleasant so i i need to analyze a little bit more and see how i feel about it um let me look in this mirror i have a mirror right here right there <laughs> yeah but in the mirror view, it actually looks really good. Like it's actually really stunning and it looks really nice. And I really don't have any real complaints about it right now. So I shall be back to tell you guys what I think in the end. Okay guys, so I've had on this foundation for about, I wanna say eight or nine hours. I think it's almost on 10, but I'm gonna say eight because I'm not 100% sure. So as you can see, it started to fade a lot. It broke up in a lot of places. It's really tight right here. And um, like right here, look how tight that is, like lines. And then here, it's just really oily. There's literally like no oil control. You see how heavy it is over here as well. My forehead looks nice and smooth. When you come up is when you see all the flaws and it has like a very natural, natural look to it. But you guys, for a marketed light foundation it's actually really good for a light foundation i don't think this foundation is for me but i do think um if you're someone who's more into the no makeup makeup look this is definitely for you um if you have just uneven skin tone is your only problem or even if you have a mature skin um this will be a lot more better for you because it's lighter it's easier to wear and you're not really into like a full face glam this will be for you. Now for me, I'm going to give this a three because I do feel like there are more foundations in the market that are light coverage and kind of have the same, um, the same idea, but it's not as, it, it doesn't perform like this. I feel like there's better foundations. I feel like I, I test self foundations so much that I'm having a hard time to think that this foundation is a holy grail like mm, yeah no first impressions i'm gonna say i will skip it so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for supporting me and all that i do and you guys are the best Mwah. bye